Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Patches Metal. After I uploaded my last video, uh, which you can find here, um, which featured Infidel Amsterdam, uh, Infidel Amsterdam gave me a small shout out on Facebook saying like, hey guys, check this new YouTuber out. And really weird stuff happened because my subscribers went from like, well, around 200 something to 580 something and I hadn't even seen his shout out so uh, what I usually do when I upload a new video is I uh, open the video and then like every five minutes I refresh it and usually it goes like when I refresh it and there's 10 extra views and then I refresh it five minutes later and there's another 10 extra views and maybe one or two likes and sometimes a comment you know so I can just uh, keep keep, uh, keep a watch on it but then suddenly I was like, all right, 10, all right, 15, all right, 20, all right, 127 views. And it like, whoa, I didn't even quite realize it. I was like, wait, what, what just happened in the last few minutes? And then I saw like all these Facebook messages going like, whoa, man, Infidel Amsterdam gave you a shout out. Uh, congratulations and congratulations on the shout out. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? But well, apparently that happened and it just made my channel go from here to whoop. So Infidel Amsterdam, thanks a lot. Uh, all the new viewers who came here because of him or over any other reason, welcome. And thanks a lot to all of you as well. And all this new fame and glory came with uh, a lot of questions for me uh, on Facebook, um, in messages, uh, etc. Just a lot of things like, hey man, uh, what do you think about this band? Or hey, what's your favorite band? Or hey, uh, etc, etc. So what I'm gonna do in the next video is make a questions and answers video. So if anyone has any other questions, please just leave them anywhere my facebook link is in the description below where it will always be and just contact me with whatever you want to know now onto the episode which is gonna be about reality deformed now i talked to this guy jens de vries who uh, initially started reality deformed as a one-man project uh, he worked on a lot of songs and eventually, uh, you know, made enough to record an album but couldn't afford it. So he just kept on writing and at some point he invited another guy, Oana uh, Dijkstra, who, uh, who could just, you know, write a few lyrics as a tryout and do a few vocals. And, um, well, the combination worked perfectly for them, so they kept this new uh, lineup as the official band. Now the thing I like about this band is that um, even when we were talking about it we couldn't really uh, decide what genre it was because it's obviously black metal and there's obviously death metal influences but there's also this kind of progressive sound throughout, throughout every song that doesn't really fit with anything and actually the entire band doesn't fit with what they do but that that makes it cool yeah i'll just shut up have a listen Now 
I guess throughout the entire thing it's not all perfect and um, especially the mixing there are a whole lot of things that could have been done better but um, you have to realize that this is indeed a one-man project and um, I think that listening to the entire album you can really hear where he's trying to go and where he wants to go with the songs and um, I think it holds a lot of potential especially for the future maybe this album itself isn't perfect but uh, I really like the kind of progressiveness throughout the black metal. Anyway, if you want to check them out, I'll put a link down in the description to their Facebook again, so you can look them up over there. Anyway, let's get on with the next band, Dark Revenge from Russia. As you can hear this is a really quality production and in my opinion it sounds fucking great. I had to cut a little bit in this uh, song to make it give a better impression within the 2-3 minute uh, limit I have per song. But um, the usual songs on the album, which is by the way released I think a few days ago or maybe a week ago. Um, but most songs are like seven to eight minutes on it and that's something I can really appreciate in the band if the songs are a bit longer. I actually had a talk about that with someone else uh, yesterday where like the the usual standard is around three, four, five minutes and that's usually where the song ends but having like another outro behind those four or five minutes or having a longer intro in my opinion that adds a lot to a song and it really 
uh, changes the, the value it has for me. Of course, there are exceptions. For instance, in Trash Metal, the songs shouldn't be too long. Uh, well, I think that's actually the only exception I have. Trash Metal songs can be short, but other than that, the longer, the better. So the same goes for this band. I'll put a link to their Facebook down in the description so you can look them up if you enjoyed this music, if you enjoyed the music I'm playing right now, which is also them though from another album. So the Sense vs Sanity album I talked about on my Facebook is still not here, so I decided to film this video today and I'm going to film the Sense vs Sanity plus whatever other bands I'm gonna find video um, in the future. Brutality, another band, is also gonna be in that video. However, that's all for a future episode and right now I'm gonna leave it at this. Please let me know in the comments what you think about the bands in this video. Also, don't forget to ask me any question if you want it to be answered in the upcoming questions and answers video. Now, thanks again to Infidel Amsterdam and thanks to everyone who already subscribed to me. And I'm gonna see you all next time again.